Adam Pleasant, good evening, everybody, and welcome to City Field. Gary Cohen, Keith Hernandez with you tonight as the Mets wrap up their series against the Braves. More on the game in just a moment, but today is a very sad day in baseball as we mourn the loss of perhaps the most beloved figure in baseball history. Yogi Berra passed away last night at the age of 90. Yogi had a magnificent career, but more than that, he was really an American original. Well, I can say that I had the great pleasure of, of knowing Yogi and being in his, in his company more than a few times. Times, always treated me as if I was the Hall of Famer and he was just a, a, a above average player. We all know what a great career he had managing the New York uh, Mets here. He, he, has a, he has a history with our organization. Uh, he will be missed. He had a long, beautiful life, beautiful marriage. He, he was truly blessed. He was known so much for his sayings. He was a quiet man who might have been the most quoted figure of the 20th century. But maybe some in this generation don't quite know how great a player he was. This was a man who finished in the top four in the MVP balloting for seven straight seasons in the 1950s. Uh, 100 RBIs five plus uh, times in his career. MVP three times. Now that says a lot right there. 51, 54, and 55. He broke in in 46 after serving, losing two years in the service. Was that D-Day uh, in the U.S. Navy? Came up at the age of 24. Uh, the Yankees were languishing in third place. His opening game was a doubleheader. The first game he caught Spud Chandler's 19th victory and in his first game hit his first major league home run. He wound up managing the Yankees to the seventh game of the World Series in 1964 got fired came to the Mets as a player coach and got his final two hits as a Met in 1965. Right, And then he became a full time coach. I think he retired in the middle of, of May and then went on to become the Mets manager in 73 and we all know about that. Uh, another World Series for him that he would lose in game seven and no one figured the 73 Mets would ever be it win the National League uh, East let alone almost defeat the mighty Oakland A's. One of the great figures in baseball history one of the nicest people any of us has ever met Yogi Berra dead at the age of 90.